Hello, I'm uh, Nick Murphy, manager of uh, the Forest School Provision for the Outdoors Group, and I'm here today to welcome Tom Lodi and Shavak Pring into my cabin in the woods uh, to chat to them in reflection of 10 years of the Outdoors Group. So, we are 10 years into the Outdoors Group. Um, what does the next 10 years hold? Wow. We want to do a lot more of the same. Right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. um, keep keep providing that access to this uh, our, our natural environment. Keep doing that. But yeah, I think a lot of growth. You know, there's still a lot of need out mm -hmm. there that we're not reaching, and we could. Um, so, kind of across the board, there's there's room to grow room to develop. We've got a great management team now that can actually push things forward um, and, and really kind of add their own value to, yeah. to what's happening, which is, is just great to see. I think I, I, at the moment, my, my thing is looking out to the big team of staff. We're near, we're gonna, soon we're going to be up to 100 staff yeah. um, and there's some, there's some really, really talented um, uh, people in that. And I'm wanting to find a way to create that space to allow that talent to bloom and blossom you know and 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 we want to nurture and support that talent that we have um yeah absolutely and i mean some of the projects that have already come out of our staff group are, are just phenomenal yeah you know some of the training that's being provided yeah. and the cpd and the skill mm. shares is just so, it's so nice to see so it's, yeah allowing allowing that platform for everyone else yeah um and yeah. then kind of the other side of it is the um kind of response to climate change really you know we've, mm -hmm. we've, we've got firm commitments to be carbon negative by 2030 we want to go zero single-use plastic as increase well increase our biodiversity across all of our sites so we we want to be socially responsible ethical company um i'm going to look at all of our purchasing and and make sure that that's you know not just any old hot chocolate it's got to be fair trade and all those kind of things make make the right choices you know we we, we've really got to practice what we preach yeah. Um, yeah absolutely and then you know we've also got a platform um, you know we, we we fought hard to build a platform for what we do and the vision that we bring to education and to you know kids having access to the outdoors we really want to use that now and, mm. and really kind of start influencing the, the wider industry and getting as many kids involved as we yeah, possibly yeah. can. I, I, find that, I think some of our attendees, um, I've noticed in, in more recent years, have um, really begun questioning a lot of the things that we've just been talking about. And I, I feel like that they're the ones that are going to also hold us accountable. Mm. Um, yeah. It's really interesting to see the how young the kids are and that they're talking about this sort of thing is fantastic yeah yeah absolutely yeah i mean well it's 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 their burden to bear really yeah. isn't it mm -hmm. and and they need to be engaged with it and mm -hmm. they need to know what it's all about and really importantly they need to have some idea of how to fix it yeah you know, how to actually act on it yeah because otherwise it just causes a, a, a massive mental health problem you know if yeah. you're stuck with this global problem you don't know how to solve yeah, where, where are you supposed to go with that? I think it's in, empowering people to make that change rather than feeling like it's it's a that big problem that I can't have any control or impact on. It's actually empowering people um, to, you know, that think global, act local kind of thing, or what can I do? And 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 have that, um, that uh, mindset where, you know, try something. If it doesn't work, yeah have a think about it yeah. and try again you know and, and build that confidence in people and, and build that resilience um, yeah and support that that process and, and nature is the the perfect place to bring challenge and absolutely and yeah. and inspiration it's been really interesting actually running the, the school the, the just the kind of trauma that people are coming out of mainstream system with and just mm. not like feeling really kind of impotent like they don't have any control over what happens and you kind of hand that control back to them and go right well you're the expert you know yeah. go for it you know you've 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 got license to actually start making a difference and mm. you know seeing the change in in our staff from doing that has just been really heartwarming to see you know yeah, people yeah. really kind of coming into their own and and really kind of 
flourishing, really. And, and well, it's, it's, it's empowering lovely. people by giving them that permission to, to, yeah. to feel confident to do so, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, surpri it's su surprised me how little encouragement people actually need. Like people want to do stuff. You just need create that yeah. situation we've got that situation now it's just like yeah go and do it great idea and and just being a yes giving people a yes like go for it try it i'm behind you yeah, yeah. so um so what attributes um and of the outdoors group are you most determined and and keen to hold on to as you as we continue to grow and develop well, um well i think the kind of the, the at the core of it all is the the kind of project-based learner-led experience that, that that people get that's that's fundamental across everything we do mm. whether it's school outreach or the school or TLP or forest school sessions home ed whatever it is that's really at the core of it and I think if we can hold on to that and develop that across yeah. everything we do that's going to be really really key obviously outdoors yeah. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise i have to do another rebrand yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so um are there is, is there anything that you feel like you um wanted to put across um in this series of, of videos that you haven't yet mentioned or haven't yet said um, i'd say it's like one thing I, you know, putting a message out there is like, Chev and I um, don't have any superpowers. Like this is something that um, people can achieve. Uh, we are we are really passionate about what we do, and we've met other passionate people, and we can mm. do that without their support um, along this journey. And it's it's it really is you know achievable to make projects to support people in an outdoor setting you, know, you don't need a lot of kit you don't need expensive technology this is this is something everyone can grasp and do yeah. um and the the more of that that happens um the better in in my yeah yeah i totally agree and i think it's that um i can't remember who said it but it's that concept of if you um, it's amazing how much you can achieve if you don't care who takes the credit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. like it's actually it's not about me and Tom. It's about the vision. It's about access for everyone to mm. the outdoors. You know, to to really revolutionise learning and make it fit for purpose for the future. Make people feel like they're empowered um, and really kind of shake up the system and, and make people realise that they they can do it. You know that they. They don't need people like me and Tom to give them permission. <laughs> they yeah. can just do it. Just, that's that's, that's yeah. kind of okay. That's really important. Yeah. So thank you for watching this chat with um, myself, Tom and Chev. Um, we hope you've got a little bit of insight into the work that has gone into the building of the Outdoors Group. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel for other videos um, of interesting topics from our team, that'd be fantastic. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye.